Hey YouTube, this is uh, another update for the Webman mod for the 4.81.2 rebug firmware. Uh, there's been an update for Webman mod. This new version is uh, 1.46.02. This one comes with uh, a few different versions which have different themes. So to change it up, uh, I'm going to install the um, Re rebugification theme I think it was called. So I'm installing the full version and I held L1 while pressing X there and as you can see it has a nice black and fiery red theme similar to what uh, Rebug has. So things look uh, fairly similar um, aside from the icons and um, the settings and, and setup is uh, pretty much the same. Games uh, interface hasn't changed very much there's a couple of hidden features which I'll get into a little bit later. So here I'm just going to open the configuration area and drop down to the uh, hotkeys, hot button um, settings at the bottom there. There we go. Uh, just so you have a refresher on uh, some of the hotkeys. And um, I thought considering that uh, this new webman mod was specifically designed for 4.81 firmware I thought uh, maybe I would give the re uh, sorry the webman launchpad another shot so that's version 1.8 and uh, as I imagined it was the same scenario uh, the thing loaded up fine but it wasn't able to parse the proper files and and find the games for some reason and the reload does nothing so that's all right, actually, considering on what Webman mod has added this time around. Uh, there is, in fact, uh, a hidden feature where if you press Select and Start, first of all, you can get to uh, like some information about your system, like the temperature setting or temperature levels and things like that. Right here, that's what it would look like. Select and Start again, and then again, if you hold Select, you can get the VSH menu, which has a little bit more uh, options you could do in there. And then in the XMB, if you hold start somewhere, you can get into the S launcher menu, like so. And this is very similar to like a backup manager, backup launcher. And um, it's pretty much um, what Webman uh, launcher was going for, aside from it being directly in the XMB menu, which is pretty damn close. So holding start and getting you there to launch a game doesn't seem that. Uh, that bad of a workaround. So just to show you, I'm loading up the game here, and for some reason it's loading up in 720p. That's why the image is smaller. So that is that. And in order to change the theme of uh, the Webman mod, you need to install the different package file. There's no setting in the configuration, as far as I noticed, where you could change the theme just like that. So that's the new update for Webman mod and uh, it's an uh, easy to use and convenient application for your jailbroken PS3 and um, stay tuned for more updates and uh, resources and tutorials I'll try to stay current as best as I can and um, if you need any more information or uh, the downloads themselves, the link will be in the description and you can find it on uh, our website, it's fixitron.ca. So that's pretty much it, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a good day.